Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 74 in the FreeCAD series. In this video, I'll be helping a user on the FreeCAD forum. He has this STL mesh object that he downloaded from Thingiverse. And he wants to make a few minor modifications. So that's what this video is going to be about today. Let me show you which version of FreeCAD I'm using. This is 0 0.19. This is one of the development releases. Revision number 22198. And I'm on Windows. This is one of the, <clears throat> one of the Conda builds. Alright, so actually I downloaded this, but he provided the link to it. So we can do some modifications of mesh objects in FreeCAD without converting them to other formats. And in this case, that's what I'm going to do. But the first thing I like to always do, go to the Mesh Design Workbench here, click the object, and use the Analyze and Repair, Evaluate and Repair Mesh tool to see if we've got a valid mesh to begin with and we click analyze down here we get all of these tests done at once and we can see we failed one test there are three folds on the surface if we zoom in here and look at the object the problem appears to be that close this if we zoom in here another rack is starting and it's cut off in the middle and it's creating some some problems with the mesh object so the first thing I want to do is just trim a little bit of this off to fix that problem And we can do that in the Mesh Design Workbench. I'm going to create a cube to begin with. I'm just going to make it some large size. It doesn't really matter exactly. And then we'll move that cube to our position. So I'm going to right click on it here in the tree, select Transform. And this brings up our handy dandy dragger tool that we can use to drag that cube around. So you grab the arrow that you want to move in that direction and it moves in one millimeter increments. And you can also rotate, but we don't need to rotate today, in 15 degree increments. You want to move in these two directions. And let's set the cube view property, the transparency, to 85. So we can kind of see into the cube how far we've gone in. A little bit too far, it looks like. We'll go back to the data tab. The view tab controls the view properties. The data tab controls the, uh, the data properties of the selected object. So we'll, what we want is a placement property. We we'll see here along the x-axis we can move and it looks like uh, 62 is too much. 63 is not enough. So somewhere between 62 and 63 Let's try 62.5. And that looks it looks pretty good. Let's find a good view to look at here. 
Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. 62.45. Let's be on the safe side. Let's get all of that out of there. So what we're going to do is do a boolean cut and we're going to cut away the pieces that the cube is uh, sharing with the other part. So first we select the base object, hold down control key and select the cube object. Second selected object will be the cutting tool and then we go into boolean and we want difference. And now we can hide both of these original objects, pressing the space bar. And look at our difference object, which is our result of our cut. And we show the original and the new one off and on. You can see that we cut away the part that we didn't like, or that FreeCAD didn't like. Now let's check the difference object with the same analyze tool and we've got no errors now so we've corrected that problem. Now the next thing as I understand is the, the uh, gear part, the rack part here comes out too far and it should be cut off somewhere here in the middle. So we can do that with another cube. We can use the same one, but I'm going to create a new cube. And we'll make it big also. <clears throat> we'll position it the same way. Right click, choose transform. Just kind of drag it around and get it roughly in the position. Right. And as before, let's make it semi transparent. Try 75 this time. It was a little too transparent before. <clears throat> and we look down back on the data tab to the placement property. We might need to expand that. And we don't want to cut in the middle of a rack again, in the middle of a gear again. Six point five, maybe, and then this direction, which is the Y direction. Let's see, somewhere between seventeen and eighteen. That looks pretty good. It's going to leave a little bit of gear left. Hang on a second. Let me turn that AC off. I don't want to leave any gears sticking out. So let's go. 17.6 the wrong direction 17.4 that's gonna, gonna chop in just a little bit let's 
see what that's going to look like when we do the cut. So select the difference object first as the base object. Hold down the control key and select the cutting tool. Then we'll go to Boolean and we'll choose difference again. We'll hit space to hide these original objects. Alright, well that looks good to me. We didn't chop away too much into it, but we didn't leave any gear left either. Now let's do the uh, analyze and repair test. And we're good. And then we can save the file. Call it 074. Oops. that'll be available at the github repo I'll put a link in the description but that's gonna do it for today I thank you for watching and as always have a great day